This team is G2 Esports. They just won the 6th Invitational two months prior, the World Championship of Siege. And right here, they're in the Grand Finals of the European Pro League. If they win this, they are the best team in Europe. They're defending the open area site on bank. And in order to do so, they are running 4 sets of impacts. Oh. Doki with the post plant with one more for Joystick. The impact over the top, the, the back of one versus one, but it's Doki for the quad just in time. So how do pro teams even come up with strats like this? In order to answer this question, we'll be looking at one of the most dynamic sites in Siege. Open area on bank. And see how both attacks and defenses have evolved over time in correspondence to each other. Let's start from the beginning. Bank was reworked on September 6, 2021 and added back into the competitive map pool around the same time. Open area, being a middle floor site, gives the attacks many venues to hit it from. The most obvious one for attackers, however, was to take top floor control, as there are two hatches directly above the site and soft floor above tele archives and the site itself and thus the top floor clear becomes the most prevalent take on attack repel a couple of guys in the windows and push the main point of entry through top square and stock windows once you get that control make some vert open the hatches walk down square take teller's archives open up the quad wall and you can threat the corner hatch drop plant the bomb or just walk in and kill everyone so with top floor being such a point of contention to win the round for attack defense had to evolve to counter it enter the aggressive top square hole adapted by many teams to answer the top floor take you reinforce Force the stock walls, place a stock shield in front of that, play in janitor and trump, and on the stock shield with some sort of burn, committing at least three bodies to the top floor and overloading resources, with the idea being to prevent the enemy from entering the top floor at all. This strat was extremely successful, especially during an evolving aggressive meta for defenders, and pushed open area into becoming almost a second best site option for many teams playing bank. Now let's put ourselves back on attack. With the defenders stacking so many resources to prevent the attackers from even taking top floor at all, trying to clear them out results in the loss of bodies, time, and generally a non-optimal attack. However, there's a key weakness to this defender strategy that the next meta attack evolution chose to exploit. Introducing the minimal Monty kitchen plan. The extreme weakness of holding down top floor so hard is kitchen. There's no soft floor above it, meaning vertical dominion has no effect whatsoever on the area of the map. Combined with the fact that it's easily accessible from bottom square, a direct entry point for the attackers, all you really have to do is sit one passive flank watcher upstairs, walk your Monty through electric maybe lurk up a person up the blue stairs to make sure no one can flank you and open up that kitchen quad wall then walk your monty behind the kitchen counter and plant the bomb with the introduction of flores and other drone ops like brava you can easily clear out all the site util extremely efficiently and quickly from just the site window and thus this very direct minimal attack became one of the most popular meta attacks during this aggressive defender era all the examples you see on screen and many more that aren't even shown are from the sixth invitational tournament alone the tournament that G2 Esports at the beginning of the video would go on to win. And this finally brings us back to the question of how G2 came up with their 4 impact strat on open area. Working kitchen directly most of the time with the Monty has become too strong of an option that traditional roams could not answer. So let's ditch the top setup entirely, reinforce the hatches, and stack bodies in kitchen. Let's bring 4 sets of impact grenades so you can impact trick the kitchen quad wall, both the hatches, and completely obliterate a Monty at any moment's notice. Even if they want to drop the corner hatch and plant, you could just spam impacts at them. Team Liquid further elaborated on this idea in the grand finals of the Copenhagen Major, the tournament that G2 was trying to qualify for in the previously shown game. Here, they doubled down on fortifying kitchen, putting mirrors on unorthodox spots such as right next to the site window to pressure the attacker out there, on the kitchen wall facing open area for more pressure from kitchen, and for extra bunkering down, they brought cave for the hatches, thorn traps for the site entrances, and a warded on hand in case of a ying hit. With this, they were able able to secure a resounding and almost flawless round victory over W7M in the Grand Finals. So there you have it, an oversimplified but general timeline of how open area on bank has evolved ever since its rework. You can see a constant pattern of ebb and flow between the attack and defense, a push and pull, where new weaknesses and defensive strategies become a heavy focus point to exploit for attacks, and how new defense strats shift their resources to respond to the new attacking focuses in order to stay ahead in the meta. Please take this video with a grain of salt 
Assault as this is a very oversimplified timeline for the meta for a site on Bank. Real Professional Siege gets really complex, but I hope this video gives you an idea of how strategy has evolved and developed over time. W7M, which Liquid beat with the last start we just reviewed, ended up winning the entire major and went back to back winning the next major in Atlanta. So next time you watch Pro Siege, imagine how they and other professional teams must constantly read and develop the strategical meta in order to stay ahead of the competition.